Hey, Menorca Navy, Captain Mandy coming to you. And I thought I'd take today, and I wanted to share with you guys a, a pamphlet that I picked up today at the Department of Natural Resources. And it shows a map of our area and advisories for different species and how often you can eat those species and where the area is affected and where these advisories are. And in light of recent problems we've had, uh, as well as some others that have been ongoing in the community. I just want to take, a, take an opportunity to highlight. And the first one that comes to mind for me is the Golden Ray. I know a lot of you might remember this event. It's kind of what started the channel. And kind of what we went through here locally with the Golden Ray and the discharge that came off of this project as it was being removed, as well as some other issues that happened, you know, minor inconveniences that happened along the way. And then secondly, here on the map, uh, we had the incident over at the Pinova uh, facility. Uh, this is also a former uh, Superfund site uh, with the Hercules company and the discharge there that came back from the fire. Third, we have another Superfund site. Uh, this is the former LCP chemical plant. It is now uh, a Superfund site and it is no longer in operation, but it is heavily contaminated. And you can see the waterways there in the back. Uh, the fourth location is a Superfund site from a wood preserving operation. Next we have a fire that was over on the Colonel's Island. Now this is uh, right uh, adjacent to where they unload all the vehicles in the Port of Brunswick. They had this huge fire that occurred not long ago. And then downtown Brunswick, the Port Authority lost a couple of their buildings with a big fire uh, with a wood pellet fire along with wastewater treatment releases that periodically occur at some of the facilities and another Superfund site from the old Hercules operation. This was a landfill operation currently uh, used for an automobile parking lot. What happens when you start adding up these events and what happens and you can see things really start to take a good toll in the area. I don't know if we should reach for the panic alarm yet, but I know one of the last things I want to see is this map continue to turn yellow uh, as the advisory area continues to grow. Um, again, this thing was dated in 2018 and it hadn't been updated since then. And, be nice to see this thing shrink. Well, hey, that's about all the time we've got for today. We we'll hope you enjoyed today's video. We we'll ask if you haven't done it yet, you'll click on that subscribe link, send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.